welcome to Bentley's Backwards Bushcraft and this is Richard. So this video is going to come from necessity. Uh, maybe somebody out there has the same issues as I do at this point. So I have come up with a, uh, a Bentley version of how to fix this problem. Uh, it will cost you almost nothing which is what I like. So here's the situation. Violet, our, uh, our dog, she is half beagle and half basset hound. She is absolutely a hound dog. Uh, one of her grandparents, however, was a chihuahua, which gives her some attitude. So anyway, when she was younger, she had to have a uh, harness on her. She did not feel comfortable without it. She just had to have it. So we would put a harness on her. We didn't want to put one around her neck because one, I just didn't like it. Two, her being a hound dog, she would constantly bend her head down into the grass and sniff and rut and all that kind of stuff. And then that around her neck was just kind of hampering her. So we went with the harness and she loved them. For, for years, she loved them. And then uh, recently, the, the quite nicely priced one that we had on her ended up breaking. And uh, upon further uh, review of that situation, she chewed it off of herself. So uh, I was a little upset. And uh, I said I wasn't going to buy one of the expensive ones again. So I, bought, I went to the Dollar Tree and bought a... Uh, a cheapy version of it and put it on her. Works just as well. Absolutely no real difference involved. And uh, within a few days, boom, shoot it off of her. So, me being me, I went out and bought one more expensive one. And uh, so anyway, let's see here. We'll start. We'll start here. So this was the first one she chewed it off. So what did I do? I sewed it back together and put it back on her. <laughs> what did she do after that? She chewed it off again. And what did I do? This time I duct taped it and put it back together. And then the third time she started chewing on this side. And then she decided just to go full blown on the other side and chewed it off again. So this one trashed. Uh, she's gone through at least three, maybe four uh, harnesses in the last month, and, and I'm over it. I'm over it. Now, she has to have a harness on when she goes outside because I don't take her outside and walk her with a leash. Plus, I'm not going to put a, a neck thing on her. I'm not going to do it. So I have a run set up at, in the back of the house where I can strap her onto a run and let her go and she can run through the yard pretty freely yet she's still confined to the yard so she has to have a harness on when she goes outside but the problem is is sometimes late at night while I'm sleeping that's the cat by the way come here this is Cinderella this is Michelle's cat so anyway, I don't think she wants to be on camera. No, she doesn't want to be on camera. So anyway, she has to have this harness on. She wants to rub up against the uh, the tripod. Come on. Okay, so I think that that problem might be solved. Anyway, she has to have this harness on when she goes out. And like I said, at night, sometimes she wakes me up and wants to go outside. Well, I love my sleep. And the worst thing for me to do is to get up and then have to put on a harness with all the belts and buckles and all that stuff that's involved with it and then put her out and then when she comes back in take it off of her and it, it's just ridiculous for me. So I've come up with a pretty ex inexpensive way of making a harness for her that if I decide to keep on her at night uh, because I'm too lazy to take it off of her, uh, if she chews through it, 
no big deal but uh, this way it comes on and off real easy and I don't have to go through a bunch of buckles and straps and all that kind of stuff so let's get going right now and let me show you how I made that and hopefully this will be helpful for you as well right, so the items that are going to be required you're going to need a knife I use a yardstick and you're going to need some cordage which I'm using I'm using that mule tape that 1800 pound mule tape and I'm also using a carabiner from the Dollar Tree so this is what we're going to do all right I'm going to take this cordage and I'm going to measure out three six feet plus a handful and I'm just going to cut it off so now I have just over a six foot string a full continuous string of cordage now I've tried this a couple times different ways um, with several pieces of cordage and using knots I don't like it because one thing is the knots on these come off they, they slip off no matter how well you tie them a lot of times plus the more knots the just the worse it looks so anyway we're gonna fold this bad boy in half alright so we have this folded in half now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my carabiner and I'm just gonna slip it on both pieces of that so that it creates that right there all right so it's in between right it's right here all right now we're gonna need the assistance of violet so let's call violet in here hey V come here girl come on there you go come here I'm gonna show you something all right yes all right let's sit right right here okay so what we do is I take this loop and put it right there in her paw the second second loop right there no we want your paw right here little one and I pull it up so now I have it around her this loop and then these end tags here let's even that back up a tad bit there we go so it's like this here now I slip the end tags through my loop and I tighten it just enough to where it's going to be comfortable for her there we go it's going to be comfortable but it's not going to be too loose and it's not going to be too tight right there okay and I'm going to put a knot right there just a very simple knot right there there we go alright and from there I'm going to want a knot right here so we put a knot, a non-slipping knot right here. Like so. Alright, now these you can cut and burn. This right here will clip onto your leash. And now it's secure right like that here she can go out she can do what she needs to do when she's ready to come in unclip this and it comes right off just like so move back little girl there you go and there you are just comes right off of her easy peasy lemon squeezy right there we go and that's all it is one continuous piece of cordage here's the finished product so we have a complete piece of cordage with a knot and then a looped knot burnt the edges I take a carabiner stick it in there her feet fit through these two holes here wraps around her then it just hooks in here just like so and that holds her in I strap it up the leash right here and let her go out and let me put that on you and then we'll show we'll show I'll show you with that on her. So I'm not hundred percent sure how well you saw that before. And I'm not sure oh stop it. 
So anyway, foot goes in here, foot goes in here, it lifts up. Alright? Just like so. Then I take the loop in through this, and right there is the knot. Boom. Alright, so now it's on her. So let's go to the door and put her on her strap and let her outside. Alright, so here is her leash that's attached to the run outside. I take it right through this little loop right here, lock it up on her. You want to go outside? Yeah, she doesn't want to go outside. Anyway, right there it is. Now, another version of it is you can actually lock it onto both of those right there and clip it on, which may be even better so that it doesn't maybe slip off. So I'll probably end up doing that. I'm not even going to use this right here. I've just seen that that probably won't work. So I'm going to clip it through that loop, pass the knot, clip it onto that loop right there. That'll lock her up. Right there. That'll work. So anyway, there you go. Unstrap her here. Then when you're done, she comes in. Boom, unstrap her. There you go. It falls right off of her. And so yeah, it falls right off of her. And when you want this to stay on, all you got to do is just take this loop part here, run it through again like this here. Just pull it tight. There we go. And it stays on. And further, further uh, usage of this, I don't even think I'm going to use this little knotted area up here. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to probably just uh, use it to hold on to when I strap her in and that's the way that's going to be this will end up getting shortened and just use it as a pull so anyway there we go this is a inexpensive almost nothing dog harness and uh, if I leave it on her too long and she chews it off I'll just make another one so again, thank you for watching Bentley's Backwoods Bushcraft and enjoy the outdoors, even if it's just your own backyard.